let me now go ahead and talk a little bit about bond markets in more detail. And in particular, we're going to go ahead and talk about bond valuation. Now again, realize that what happens with a bond is there's the initial issuance here, and then the bond goes along over time, and it makes periodic payments called coupons. So here's the issue date, and here's coupon one, and here's coupon two, and so on and so forth over time, till eventually we're going to get to the maturity date, at which point the bond is going to pay out its face value or par value. So, lots of different flows of money are going to happen here. Typically, the coupons are fixed dollar amounts and they're fixed at time of the issuance and they don't change over the life of the bond. That's not always the case. Um, different bonds work differently, but that's the most common case. So, how do we go ahead and decide how much a bond is worth? And I'm going to do a very, very simple case to start with. I'm going to have a zero coupon, one year maturity, $1,000 face value bond. And that's not quite enough information we need to know. I'm, we need to know something about its default risk. For now, we're going to assume 0% default risk. We know with certainty that this thing is going to go ahead and pay us back. And we're going to go ahead and also need to know something about the interest rate. So what interest rate is available on alternative investments and should be alternative investments that have about the same risk level as this one here. And let's suppose it's going to be a 8% interest rate that's available on alternative investments. Now, at this point here, we're going to have to go ahead and throw out the formula for compound growth. And what's going to be true if something is going to be having compound growth is that the future value is going to be equal to the starting or present value times 1 plus the interest rate as a decimal raised to the number of years. So here's our interest rate as decimal. And here's our number of years. So, notice as an illustration of that, so just going to recopy that formula, future value equals present value times 1 plus r to the n. If we have $500 grows at 5% for one year, the future value equals the $500 of present value, that's what we started with, times 1 plus 0.05 raised to the first, or it's going to grow to $525. So our original $500 worth of principal plus $25 worth of interest. We can actually use this formula to figure out 
what a reasonable price or a fair market value is for our bond. The issue, though, is that with the bond, we're going to start with a known future value, how much is going to be repaid at maturity, and we're trying to figure out the present value. So I'm going to rearrange this formula here, and I'm going to rearrange it to solve for present value. So basically I'm going to divide both sides by 1 plus r to the n, and we have that formula there. And often, to emphasize the fact that the present value is the unknown and the future value is the known, we rewrite it in the other order there. So, again here, we know the future value in this case. We're going to be repaid $1,000. We know the interest rate, I said earlier, was 8%. And we know that the number of years here is 1. So the present value of our bond, of this $1,000 bond, is $1,000 over 1 1.08. And I'll let you go ahead and do that on a calculator as a test of yourself. So you can go ahead and pause the video and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Excel and do that.